all agree that Becky looks a complete picture today. And talking of pictures, <laughs> most, most conferences have a picture of all of the delegates. So what we're going to do, or what Jonathan and Ellen are going to do, is they're now going to take a picture of all of us from up there. So we all need to move over to where they are. <laughs> OK. So, all the way to the stragglers at the back here. Oh, thank you, Andy, for pointing the camera. Okay, so kite aerial photography is something that's been practiced for as long as there have been kites and cameras and a need to fly those kites over enemy lines during the First World War. So if you start Googling around for kite aerial photography, you'll find zillions of pages giving you detailed engineering drawings of things for lofting $5,000 um, SLR cameras. We made this in an afternoon out of primarily araldite <laughs> and um, a couple of bits of sort of Meccano type or shelf brackets or something and some sort of tongue depressor lolly sticks. What's lovely, this is called a Picabay? Picabay cross after a Monsieur Picabay. And what's particularly lovely about it is that this arrangement of cat's cradle strings, ignore this one, this is a safety line on the highly expensive photographic apparatus. This arrangement is designed partly to stop the whole thing swinging that way, so that's what this nut does, but also so that, if I can do this, oh, no, it's, thank you, <laughs> also so that as the angle of the kite line changes, the angle of the platform sort of self equalises. And when you put this together, when you sort of string it together, you can't quite believe it's ever going to work. And then it does, really nicely. Um, you need a very stable, well, you need a very stable kite to do this sort of thing. This is a Cody box kite. Uh, these are about 35, uh, actually these, that one's about 30, 35 quid. There's a new one out, which is half as big again. <laughs> which I found out about when I was ordering the line on Tuesday. If they'd had one in, we'd have an enormous kite. Um, the big ones are still only 40, 45 quid. So what we're going to do is take the extremely expensive uh, apparatus, which is currently turned off, and I can't get to the button. Oh, an idiot. Um, if anybody calls me during this demonstration, I'm not quite sure what happens. This is, in fact, my mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the reason that we didn't carry on drinking last night, because in a drunken state we had to untangle that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, uh, when, the, when the phone wakes up, we're going to loft the phone by winding out the, uh, the, the kite line to a height of about 20 or 30 feet, you then have to stand in what you think the field of view of the camera is at that point. The camera will take a picture every 10 seconds, and we'll find out tomorrow, when I get the pictures back, whether you're in it. <laughs> oh, I've got voice messages. That's nice. <laughs> Hang on a minute, that means... Oh, okay, so I have to... Uh, it, it, I have to put it on self-timer mode, okay, uh, every two seconds, see if it'll do that, and it's on, right, oh, it's a kite down. down, yeah, how are we doing? No, 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 it's okay. Okay. Jonathan, <coughs> how would they normally be pressing the button? Um, the, the full Monty things have kind of remote controls on them, so you've got, um, you know, people with sort of six axis, or three axis control, and control over zoom and aperture, and video returns and all the rest of it. Um, quite why you'd bother as opposed to just, you know, hiring a helicopter, I don't know. Um, so the ones in the First World War used, used a string, used a second string running down the, the kite thing and you'd pull it. On the top, you know, one of those photos of the picture. Oh, so you'd run it up on a second kite, so the second kite pull it up and you send the kite. So try and stay in where you think the shot is, right? <laughs> and you have it Keep running around. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and bring it down and see if we can get see if we've actually got any progress. <laughs> <laughs> 